We're back at Willow Springs for our third installment of Head to Head Tuner Edition. This time, it's a rumble as two modified Japanese rally cars go toe to toe in an epic battle between well known rivals. On this episode, it's a Subaru WRX STI versus a Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10, both tuned by Harman Motive. This full throttle showdown is brought to you by Magnaflow Performance Exhaust. Today, we've got one of the most serious rivalries around. STI versus Evo. We're gonna race them around the track, line them up for a drag race, then run them zero to hundred to zero. Buckle up, it's showtime. Yeah! Here are the specs. The Harman tuned STI's 2.5 liter turboed flat four produces 429 horsepower and 455 foot pounds of torque. While the Harman tuned Evo 10's 2 liter inline four turbo cranks out 403 horsepower and 354 foot pounds. The STI weighs 3,250 pounds, while the Evo weighs in at 3,500. The price for the STI is 60 grand, and the Evo costs 47. Let's hear what the Harman Motive guys think about this matchup. Well, we're actually uh, competing against ourselves, and uh, the concept behind the cars is we built them both to really the exact same spec. But the way we have this car set up is, is to really show more of what we do uh, to a traditional customer's car. This is much more similar to a to a street car, something you could drive every day. We have it equipped with a Stage 3 engine package, which is a uh, small turbo upgrade, uh, fuel systems to support that, and uh, an ECU reflash. Then we also have a, a lot of work into the suspension and the brakes. The STI has more torque, uh, the Evo has a little more top-end horsepower. The Evo feels more aggressive to drive. The Subaru has a better weight balance and it's a little bit lighter, and it really sort of tests the driver. Anyone from a novice to a, to a real advanced driver like uh, Sam could take good advantage of the car. This just accepts smaller mods and really, really kind of over-exaggerates them. And what we've done has really worked out well. It has a very strong Stage 2 package, uh, something that any person could do with a little bit of mechanical knowledge. The handling on this car is superb because anytime you turn the car it's wanting to go. You have a fully track ready, drive on the street, no problems, go out and beat on it kind of car. Behind the wheel is Sam the Crazy Sweet Hubinet. He's a two-time Formula Drift champ and a Hollywood stunt driver. Head-to-head -head tests on the big track at Willow Springs. It's a high-speed 2.5-mile road course. Turn 8 is one of the fastest corners in the U.S. and the front straight is half a mile long. Up next, Sam hits the track in the STI and the Evo, and he's going ballistic. Get ready for some full throttle, push it to the limit competition. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. I'm Dennis Anderson with the Gravedigger. I like running MagnaFlow on my trucks. When I'm out on a track ripping it up, man, I've got parts flying everywhere. Shocks flying, four-length bars. That MagnaFlow hangs in there for the ride. MagnaFlow Performance Exhaust, proudly made in the USA. Welcome back to Head to Head's Harman Motive STI versus Evo 10 Battle at Willow Springs. Time to hit the track and see what they're like to drive. Go for it, Sam. Yeah! These guys don't know what they're doing, giving me this car to drive like a maniac. I like it that as you're coming into turn two there, it's lightly overstayed, so the rear end is coming out if you're pushing it hard. Let's see if we get this thing sideways before we go out and do the hot laps. If we can do some four-wheel drifting. No, it's, it just wants to understeer. Not enough power. <laughs> it needs 200 more horsepower to get, the, get it sideways. It has more handling than power in the suspension. It definitely relies on the turbo. It's a... Uh, you can sense it's a larger turbo. It doesn't have a whole lot of low end torque. We're coming in here pretty hot in turn eight. Doing 120 miles per hour. Woo! Holy macaroni! We're coming out here. Turn nine on the straightaway. Let's see how fast we can go. Full throttle here. We're pushing it. We're pushing it hard. 128 miles per hour. Not bad, not bad. Not bad is right. Let's see what kind of lap time this puppy can pull. And the brakes are absolutely flawless. There's no hesitation here. Yeah, I think we can, this car can take more power. Uh, the chassis can take more power. So a little bit more power and a little more traction, a little more grip. It 
it's uh, I'm having a good time here. The STI turned a fast lap of 134.08 with an average speed of 95.66 miles an hour. Timing segment compliments of race pack. Wow, it feels good. Let's see how the balance is. It feels very similar in turn two, like the Subaru. As, as you're on the gas, it kind of wants to come around you a little bit, a little oversteer there. I, like, I, I really enjoy the steering input. I'm gonna try it a little bit sideways here. See if we can pitch it over the hill here. It doesn't have any torques there like the Subaru had. Full throttle turn eight here. And it's going quick now. Let's see just how quick Sam can go in the time lapse. Now it's time to get on the race mode. Should be fun. Breaking hard into turn one. It just comes into the corner really easy. Very good steering input. More direct steer than the Subaru. I can come into the corners with more speed. And he just sticks here on full throttle here. Yeah! Holy macaroni, there it is! Coming into turn 9, out the straightway, we could have used a little, little more horsepower, maybe 200 more horsepower would have helped, but you know what, this is amazing still. The Evo 10 ran a fast lap of 132.19 with an average speed of 97.62 miles an hour. That's almost two seconds quicker than the STI. Now it's time for a drag race. Sarah's gonna line them up and let them go. Let's see which one's quicker in a straight line. These two should be neck and neck. Thought that would be closer, the Evo walked away from the STI. We decided to run one more test, zero to a hundred to zero. Here it goes. Again, the Evo surprised us. It was about four seconds quicker than the STI. Now it's time to tally the score and declare the winner. The engine goes to the STI's Boxer 4, which overpowers the Evo in horsepower and torque. But the hot lap, drag race, and 0 to 100 to 0 all go to the Mitsubishi Evo 10. So the winner is the Harman Motive Mitsubishi Evo 10. On paper, the STI should have spanked the Evo. It weighs less, makes more power, but it wasn't to be in the real world. Today it was owned by the Evo, even though it cost 13 grand less. It relentlessly beat up the Subaru and took the win fair and square. So until the next episode of Head to Head, we're out of here. Next week on an all new Head to Head Tuner Edition, it's a high speed shootout between a Nissan GTR and a Porsche GT3. Watch this brand new episode first, only on Torque TV.